Hi there guys, um, back with a review as promised last time and today we have got Camel Lights or Camel Blue or Camel Subtle, whatever people want to call them these days um, they're still Camel Light so um, start off by saying again thank you very much to all the new subscribers hello, hope you enjoyed all the videos so far I've got loads more coming up for you um, I'm just going to get through a load, a string of uh, requests that I've got, I've got quite a bit of a backlog, I've not had much time to do this really lately so um, bear with me, I will get them all up. Um, so really in the meantime I've got, I've got Camel Lights coming up, we've got Palmar Reds coming up, uh, we'll have Dunhill Internationals for you as well and Rothmans as well and like I was saying kicking off with Camel Pack Design, um, it's exactly the same as Camel Filters box except it's blue, um, it's got this Camel here, it's a pyramid, um, an oasis, this is camel since 1913 on the front. Uh, we've got the bottom there, we've got the top there, got one side there, other side there, and the back there. Um, doesn't say anyth anything on it except since 1913. Um, not the same, same as a camel filters box, uh, but blue. Um, it's uncomplicated, can't say much wrong with it really. 7 out of 10 for the pack design. Um, as for the cigarette itself, that's what it looks like. Brown filter, a little bit of white bit, gold band here. Is it gold? Yes, it's gold band. Body of the cigarette says camel on. Uh, same all over the world. Everywhere I've seen camel light have a um, print look exactly like this. Used to say light on them down there, but no anymore. Um, so the guy I've sent cigarette design is nothing inspiring. It's nothing different. Um, it's not as good as the American camel designs I think they're much better but um, there we go um, so cigarette time 5 of 6 out of 10 don't go wrong uh, so lung damage on these is 6 milligrams tar 0.5 nicotine 7 carbon monoxide so completely light and um, there we go I'll smoke it on let's see what it goes like Straight away, um, it's just it tastes very very much like a camel filter. Not as not as much flavour there as a camel filter, but um, it's just just a lighter camel filter really, which is is, is not bad by any means. Um, don't take it the wrong way. It's it's very good. Um, um, yeah, a lot of flavour. I mean, for a light cigarette, there's an awful lot of taste in that. Um, one of the most flavoursome lights I think you can get. Like that with Dun that and Dunhills, you can get are um, definitely lights that have got a lot of flavour there. You can really taste the tobacco. It's very nice. Um, like with the Camel Filter, it's quite creamy. A um, little bit of sweetness. Um, these are very smooth. There's a good draw on them. Uh, perforated filter as well. Um, there is... It's not as creamy as a camel filter, so there is a bit of a difference. Um, there's no sweetness really there either. With a camel filter, you get a tiny hint of sweetness in the background, but it's mostly quite creamy. Um, these, there's not. It's there, but it's um, it's. A lighter creaminess is um, it's, it's very subtle, so not there. It's of course subtle flavours when they are. Um, so taste wise, um, yeah, bloody good. Um, you can't go wrong with them. Definitely, I suggest you buy these. Um, taste, I'd have to give them well, a seven out of ten. They're not that bad at all. They're quite nice. Um, you get them in ten twenties here. Um, for some reason, you can get pretty much camel lights most places. Camel filters are harder to get hold of. Oddly enough, um, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but uh, they just are. Um, <laughs> in all the supermarkets near where I live, there and they've got camel lights everywhere, but camel filters um, not so common. Um, I prefer camel filters to the camel lights, but um, I will smoke these as an alternative any day of the week. Um, as like I said in my previous reviews of camels, I really, really do like camels. Um, all you can get over in the UK is camel lights and camel filters. You can't get the unfiltered ones here. Uh, you can't get um, what is essentially the European version of the Camel Crush, which is um, called Camel Switch. Um, I know you can get those in France. 
Uh, you can't get the menthols. Um, I think you used to be able to get the menthols. Um, probably uh, quite quite a long time ago, more than 10, 10 15 years or so ago, um, when I was probably just just out started smoking myself. So um, I remember seeing camel camel menthols, uh, but you just can't get them here. It's a shame, really, because camel menthols are very nice. Um, burn time. As you can see, they do burn very quick. That's going to be one of my only criticisms, really, of these. They burn incredibly quickly um, in comparison to a camel filter, which has a relatively slow burn time. Um, these have a very, very quick burn time on them, um, which is a bad thing because they're so nice to smoke that you don't want you want it to continue. So um, there we go. Um, like I said, I've got loads more reviews coming up. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers I've had, all the comments I've had on the other videos. Uh, the feedback on the Lucky Strike Click and Roll and the Silk Cut Choice videos has been really positive, so thank you everybody. Um, any requests uh, that you want me to do, I will do them. Like I said, I'm just working my way through a bit of a backlog of requests I've got for you at the moment. Um, I'm probably, when I get all my pipe tobaccos and get all that started, I might start doing reviews of those, um, which is for Glynn um, at Gauntley's. Um, Glow0115 is his username on YouTube. Check his videos out. Um, he's like the tobacco messiah. He's an absolute legend, so um, big shout out to Glynn. Um, again, he works at Gauntley's, shop manager at Gauntley, so need any advice on cigars, tobaccos, pipes and anything, he's the person you need to hit um, hit up. Um, again, there's all sorts of people and all sorts, there's a much wider community of pipe smokers out there, he's linked to everybody and people know him and look at his videos and he's got all sorts of other people, so if that's what you think, do check him out. Um, Rob, RJ the Smoker, as always, big shout out to him, he's supported me a hell of a lot on this, um, so thank you for that Rob. Um, Secret Smoker ninety eight. He has um, he's doing some doing different things now with his channel. Um, it's called Smokers Paradise now. He's um, doing all sorts. He's gonna he's been doing commentaries on smoking related issues, um, reviews of everything. So check his channel out, Secret Smoker ninety eight. He's got a blog as well, so check that out. Um, he's on Twitter at Secret Smoker ninety eight. Um, there's T Smoke Reviews, which is Trudy, uh, she's changed the channel, she was Sneaky Smokes 13, um, but she's had to stop that, so she's under T Smoke Reviews now, let's go check her out, um, Tom Sick Reviews as always, who's now quit unfortunately, but um, he's still got a hell of a lot of reviews up there, um, the Tobacco Reviews as well, shout out to you guys, Modern Tobacco as well, those guys are brilliant, um, like I said, Glenn as well, um, Quite a lot of people, a lot of the people who subscribe to me as well are um, are out there doing their own reviews. So check the subscribers list of me and go and check those guys out and give them some support. And like, there we go, finish with that now. So like I said, it's a very quick burn time, but um, very nice all the same. So overall, for the cam lights, I'd say um, seven out of ten, taking everything into account. It's very good, good. Middle of the road, uh, to higher end, great flavour, crap burn time unfortunately, everything about it is really good. The buzz on them is not as good as a camel filter, but you get a nice kick, but there's so much flavour in it, it kind of makes up for it, and the tobacco tastes really good, so um, check them out, camel lights, uh, if you can pick them up, and again thank you very much to everybody for subscribing, for commenting, please keep it coming, um, I'll be back. Um, couple of days time hopefully a few more reviews when I've got through them for you all um, keep keep questions far away if you want to ask ask away ask anything and um, I shall catch you all soon and um, happy smoking guys take care see you soon bye bye